On today's episode, NASA's plans for blowing up near-Earth objects, or not. I'm Gabriella. welcome to Geek Beat. <laughs> Fifteen years ago, NASA Project NEAR began orbiting one of the largest near-Earth asteroids, 433 Eros. Over the course of a year, it took over 160,000 photos and sent back the most detailed look ever of what turned out to be just a big ass rock in the sky. These things aren't balls of icy space dust, people. It turns out 433 Eros has more than 100,000 craters, about a million house sized boulders, oh, and 20,000 billion kilograms each of aluminum, gold, and platinum. You may be asking yourself, who cares? Well, first of all, some nut job named Gregory W. Nemitz, who claims he owns the asteroid. He even sent NASA a parking ticket for crashing their satellite on the surface. But normal humans should care too, because 433 Eros has a 50-50 chance of crashing into the Earth. Well, it might be a million years from now, but when it comes, it'll be about the same result as the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. Or maybe that one that killed Bruce Willis. All right, hold on, I'm pushing through. Anyway, there's actually a real honest-to-goodness ranking of near-Earth objects that are likely to wipe us all out. It's called the Century Risk Table. By the way, I think John P. is setting up some sort of online betting site to give you better than Century Risk Table odds. Basically, you pay your money, and if your asteroid hits Earth first, he gives you some back. Because, you know, like, you win. Imperial College of London also has a calculator that lets you estimate what happens when various things hit the Earth. You can plug in all the details and bam! Meanwhile, NASA is actually planning another asteroid visit, this time to Bennu, which has 1 in 2700 chance of ruining somebody's day in about 2080. The OSIRIS-REx mission will land on Bennu, which is about the size of the Sears Tower in Chicago, take a sample, and send it home. According to Dr. Steve Jolly, Lockheed Martin chief engineer, we're not blowing anything up, but this is the beginning. We're learning how to impact the path of an asteroid. Well, they better learn fast because that calculator says that if Bennu hits Earth, the impact will be like lighting a match on over 6,000 megatons of TNT. That's 120 times more powerful than the most powerful atomic bomb ever, the 50 megaton Tsar Bomba that created a mushroom cloud 35 miles high. But blowing up an asteroid isn't actually option A because J.J. Abrams doesn't run NASA. Instead, they're actually working on a real project to visit another asteroid, land on the surface, pick up a boulder, get off the asteroid and into orbit beside the asteroid to let gravity gradually pull the meteor out of danger using a technique called a gravity tractor. And then carry the boulder and put it in orbit around our moon because I guess they think our moon needs some space bling too. Well, that's it for today's episode. Do me a favor and show us some love by sharing today's show on your favorite social media sites. And how about a nice big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm Gabriella. See you next time. <laughs>